This is the Yoshino B4000. This has 2,611 watt hours. It has a 4,000 watt inverter with a 6,000 watt surge. You literally can run almost anything on this. This is the largest inverter I've ever had in a power station. This actually has solid state batteries in it, which I think is one of the only companies that has started doing this. It is more expensive to make because basically it's the safest technology available. It's also the most energy dense. So basically you're getting a lot more power in a smaller lighter package whereas other power stations that would have this much power would obviously be larger and heavier this thing also operates all the way down to negative four fahrenheit so if you like doing winter camping and you want your power station to work that's definitely the way to go it has four thousand cycles down to 80 percent capacity it has a really nice clean simple design it only weighs 54 pounds but it does have these nice kind of what are they, aluminum brushed handles on it with some kind of padding behind it, so it's very comfortable to hold. It has two 15 watt wireless chargers on top. On the front of it, we got the logo, we got the percentage, it's still at 75% and it'll show your estimated time remaining. It does have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, so you can completely operate this thing from your phone. Then you have your USB section with two USB A's. You got a 100 watt USB C and a 20 watt USB C. It does show your output and your input if you're charging it or you have one of these on. If you turn that off, obviously that'll go away. Then it has a DC section and it comes with this uh, cigarette lighter cord to like barrel plug. So you can just plug that right in there. And then now you can plug it into your 12 volt fridge or whatever. And you can also get a second one of these. So you could technically have two of these, which I think is pretty sweet. It also has a light and it's uh, one setting, that's it. But it's actually fairly bright. It's like the perfect bright. So just on and off. Then on the back, we got a flap right here. This is all for charging it. You got your XT60 spot for your solar or car charging. This can take 600 watts of solar and fully charge in 5.5 hours with full sun. And then you got your AC spot. It does come with the AC cord here. So there's no power brick. You just plug it in there and it can fully charge in up to 1.5 hours. Here's your circuit protector. If there's an issue and it pops, you just press that. In the flap below it, there is a 30 amp RV plug. And then you got your on off switch for the circuit breaker. It has two 20 amp AC outlets on the back. You can obviously turn it on by pressing that. And above that, you have your smart link section where you can connect unlimited expandable batteries to this. And each expandable battery can handle up to 1000 watts of solar. These are the four cords that are included. You got your AC wall plug to charge it. You got your car cigarette lighter plug there. You got your car charging plug there. And then you got your MC4 XT60 cord for solar panels. You have a zipper on the back with a pouch, which is where you have your MC4 cords to connect them. I would just take our MC4 to XT60 cord, open the charge flap, and then we just plug this right into the XT60 for solar charging. So now we just plug this into the solar panels. The included MC4 cord is pretty long but I do highly recommend getting some extension cords, MC4 extensions. I'll link to it in the description because then you don't have to have your system so close together. So these are called the SP200. They're obviously 200 watt solar panels. They weigh 18 pounds. They're kind of like that rugged style, like real durable, not as like clothy. They have these grommets in it to hang it up. This has that ETFE coating, so it lasts longer. It doesn't yellow. It has monocrystalline cells with 23% efficiency, which is basically what all the highest quality solar panels have. These have IP67 rated, so you can have like light sprinkle rain and light snow on them, but obviously you don't want to leave them out in like downpour. Ooh, we're getting up there. 400 and something. That's pretty good for how much tree. Wow. 450 some watts. I love being able to generate power off grid. It's just a fun feeling for some reason. But if you guys want to check out this uh, Yoshino B4000 or these SP200 solar panels, I will have a link in the description to it. That cloud is actually dropping some sprinkles on me. So we're about to put this stuff away here before it starts downpouring.